All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to the Z Roundtable podcast right here. Um, we're reaching you live from a Vado Wine Cafe that is uh, located at opposite GDSS, that's the Government Day Secondary School, along University Road in Taukia, in the city of Ilori. Yes, this very beautiful moment where we are right now, we'll be talking about um, you know, a, a lot of things trending and then of course um, a lifestyle for the year 2023. And when I say trending and lifestyle, I mean, of course, definitely within the music industry and then a little bit of the other arts. Yes, that's exactly what we are doing, this very beautiful moment. So from my left, let me just quickly introduce um, everyone. Uh, but before I do that, I think I have a name and I have to tell you what my name is, in case you don't know me, I'm the Radio Godfather. They call me Don Femi King. So I'll be your host at this very beautiful moment on the Z Roundtable podcast. Yes, this is another episode right here. And then, of course, we'll be having fun. Of course, we'll fight, we'll quarrel, we'll argue, and then everything. Just to Yeah, definitely. But all, all we want you to do right now is just to brace up and then, of course, fasten your seatbelt because we're going to be going down the hills and round bench with us. Just like Thomas and his friends. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, by my right, I mean by my left, I have um Icon Levin. Icon Levin is right here. Icon, how, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh yeah, nice you're still good right now. Yeah, I hope you're not hungry yet. No, I'm <laughs> DJ Larry Pepper is right here too. DJ Larry Pepper, some some more booze or what? Yeah, we're good for now. Oh, we're good for now. Okay, and then of course I got Jay Smith right here in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, y'all. How you doing? I'm here. Man? I'm good. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. chill. Like, no booze? No. Well, no right now, no. If, if it's available, no. We no, <laughs> don't say no to drinks, you know. But, you know, like you said, violence is a short. So, okay. bring on the booze so yes. that it's, it's, it flies as a short. Because we got enough of them you know, right here at our back, right here. So, yes, we, we'll, be, we'll be popping a lot of champagne. Let me put it that way. Okay, yes, I have a Stephanie right here. Uh, Stephanie. Hi. Sugar. Yeah, they call her sugar. Yeah, S B the R. It oh. really good to be all. So I'll just like for everyone to stay tuned. Good vibes on vibes, and there is never going to be any dull moment. So hundred percent, hundred percent. Yes, that's the sugar with an with, with an H, right? Or is it with the H? With the H yeah, to the R. Yeah. The R. Oh, S to the. Any, anyway. Okay. Okay. Spell it again. Spell it again. Spell it again. S to the U to the G to the A and the R. Oh, okay, okay. So your sugar doesn't have an H. All right. Yes. Very beautiful. Yes, and then of course I have uh, somebody that I, um, you know, um, I, I never told him this before, but then uh, the very first day I heard his voice, I was like, wow, this guy sounds like me, somehow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a little bit right here, special black, special uh, black right here. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, special black? I am, I'm feeling very fly, I'm feeling good. You're feeling very fly. It's nice okay. to be around you, Alex. You said I sound like you wanted to do Alex's video. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he said it's really fly. I think you're his Daniel's friend. Right? <laughs> fly away right there. Okay, there's Debola Jiggies right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it feels good to be here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to be exploring, uh, you know, so many um, issues, so many uh, trending topics and everything right here. But so uh, let's just start with, the, uh, you know, the, the, the rising cost of Afrobeat artists and its impact on um, concert culture and, uh, you know, the Nigerian audience, okay? These are the artists. They are getting more expensive. Let me put it that way, right? And then, um, what is the impact on the concert culture? Because a lot of concerts now, there's nothing like DJ track one, track two again. I don't think so. Everybody comes with the, the drummer, the keyboards, and the instrumentalist, and all that. So, yes, that's a concert culture. And then, of course, um, the audience, we, the people that will buy the tickets. Yeah. You say 70K, right? 100K, <laughs> 150K. Are we ready to keep doing that? So yeah, that's um, what we want to discuss right now. So um, let me start from my point, from my left. Well, I think it's just um, it's a case of like I would say Afrobeat now is the biggest export out of Nigeria right okay, now. Okay. Yeah. Like oil, and I would say due to the whole state of the country and how bad we have gotten our economy and all, Afrobeat has exceeded our reality. Mm. to put it that way so mm. now is the the basic truth is that we need to subsidize afrobeats if we can afford afrobeats artists mm -hmm. that's just it because these artists go to other countries perform to the best of their statements isn't, isn't it conditional like if we can afford them well the thing is if we can afford them okay. but the truth is that we are on a 30,000 minimum wage All right. and somebody like an artist breaking out in 2022 yeah. is telling me to pay 70k for his tickets 
Okay. Two months with 10k of minimum wage. <laughs> How <laughs> am I supposed so, to? So for three months, I should just save my minimum wage. For minimum wage. To that's see that's for, that's that's for, for one, one hour. hour. <laughs> just one hour yeah. performance. And they still said it doesn't even waste time. So it gave me 45 minutes. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so I feel it's just like the our economy has gotten so bad. That's why they always see like what goes around comes around. Mm. These artists are our own artists. But they are now signing international record deals. They are getting shown um, bigger standards, bigger venues. Mm. People abroad pay more money to see these guys. So coming back home. Coming back home. If they should subsidize it for us, that means it is now a case of they just want standard. to pay for us. Is but it, they cannot is, give us that standard. Is it like a state, is, is it like a state of um, you know, dropping standard? If they should say, okay, yes, I'm having a concert and the ticket is 5K. The ticket is to, be honest, for to be honest, the standard yeah. will have to drop because we can't afford these guys. Mm. Their, their standard performance abroad. Okay. We can't afford it here. We simply don't have infrastructure. Okay. We don't have an O2 arena in the whole of Nigeria, 36 days plus the FCT. Mm. And we are how many years independent? That's bad. Mm. We don't have we don't have our stadiums cannot mm. even so be. So automatically the economy is like a domino effect. It's a domino effect. Oh, yes. Yes. Domino effect. Exactly. And then um, looking at it, Afrobeat doesn't just have just one. When you talk about Afrobeat, you talk about mm. Afrofusion. Yes. Afro, someone said Afro pension, yes. you yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Afro yeah. piano, Afro yeah. piano, yeah. different yeah. branches. Yeah. And then the point is that yes, as much as we are being recognized out there, yeah. it's the artists that are being recognized out there, they're putting Nigeria on the map, yeah. Yeah. one way or the map. other. Mm -hmm. So some way somehow, I still believe that um, when it comes to the concert culture, mm -hmm. they should be able to take what they've gotten from there. My brother, I don't know, I don't know what the current dollar to one naira is. Almost okay. one thousand. One thousand right. and pounds to one naira. So you're talking about Otsu Arena that is sold out. Yeah. And how many pounds are you converted? Yeah. I think when you come back home, mm. you should be able to enjoy so, the benefits that, yeah. of what mm. you've put on the world map. Okay, yeah, yeah. now, but the thing so, is, to, well, to take it from uh, an events planner's perspective, it is people that are calling these artists. It's not the country of Nigeria that's calling them. It's not the president. It doesn't fall... No concert as ever. The president is yes, uh, okay. I want to check something. Yeah. Actually, I want to address what she was saying. Okay. Let's agree that this mm. Afrobeat artist actually mm. grew up from Nigeria. Yeah. And we our streams are mm. added to the so-called limelight thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I was I don't think I'm, I was not alive in mm. the era of Fedra, but I think yeah. to an extent people of Lagos enjoyed Fedra performance. Of course. Not you were not dead either. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I was very, very young. Yeah. But people in Lagos mm. could enjoy Fedra at the shrine. Yeah. Not the amount that people in Egypt were paying. Yeah. Not the amount yeah. people in US were paying. Yeah. Because Fedra yeah. is our own. Yeah. We, we are together. So you okay. understand that this politician, this economy is not our problem. Like, it's a politician day. Yeah. And day two, before they go to the line, like, they went through this. So I feel, especially in a period like December, this Afrobeat artist, our artist yeah. should be able to give back to the society. Yeah. Come and do a concert now. You know we can afford it. Give us a price yeah. we can I think, afford. Yeah, and let's enjoy it. Uh, once upon a time, uh, Afrobeat used to be the underdog, huh? the underdog in the game internationally. Yeah. But right now, we are not popping from the window anymore. Now we are mm. back to the party proper. Mm. Yeah. You can't even do nothing in the international space without even putting an apple yeah. As a, Right now we are performing at the World Cup, performing at Balloon Dio, yeah. 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 everything. Yeah. Apple is part of the party now. Yeah. So I think, you know, whatever you are doing in life, yeah. when you start growing, you start getting more audience in life, the cost, of course, will reflect in your charges, in your service delivery. Mm. But there's still something these called people, social These people, they are charging in dollars mm. to their international audience. Yeah. They have record deals that stop them from just going anywhere, anyhow. Mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. So yeah. they have certain guidelines, management guiding them, which is why some of them, when they come back home, they do homecoming concerts, almost yeah. for free. True. That's their CSI, social responsibility. They do that mm. almost for free. So if you want to bring them to a proper show, maybe in Lagos now, for example, if they want on their own time, I think they can do that to their own, their own cost yeah. of cutting some things, but then their proper charges should reflect from where they come from. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. If I am worth this now, and I started from here, it's not bad when my people are paying for what I want. Of course, you're not saying because we are not saying because they are from us in Africa now. Our music stream subscription, Spotify is saying because you are from Nigeria, don't pay the number charge, pay half of the cost. Because your Apple Music is saying because you are from Nigeria, don't pay one K per month, pay five hundred per month. Mm. No, 
these people are collecting the normal charge from everybody all around. All around. So our personal issue about well, their charges are not exactly. crazy. Not, okay, okay. Let's let's let's, 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 let's yeah. be very let's be very logical. I, I I think I was discussing this with some with some some of us over the weekend, and I gave a, a simple example. You don't expect people that build houses. In, I don't want to use build houses. You could do boys. Mm -hmm. And when I say you could do boys. You should know that mm. they are the, the boys. The boys yeah, yeah, yeah. And you expect those kind of boys to pay 70k, 70K for a ticket. To come and, to come and see you. And you know you are from that zone. Yeah, concerts, we don't have to accommodate No, that's so what I'm saying. You shouldn't do a concert. We're talking about when they say, okay, yeah, we said concert culture. Even internationally. Yeah. Even internationally. All concert prices are not the same. Yeah. Pepe, let's, look at, let's, let's use the analogy of football. Okay. Let's use the analogy of football. Mm. We know how much a cement is. Yes. yes. Yeah, when these guys come back home, we don't pay half of what they are in the budget, and they pay for us. The way I like to say, I'm playing. How much is Nigeria paying their players? They are, then when they come back home, they are wearing the badge. Hey, that's what I'm saying. saying so they really should pay a period for us. I'm not saying every time. I'm not saying all. Which is why the concert should be free. I'm not saying all. You need to understand that they are humans. They are covering people who put the shows together. That is what I'm saying. Who cover the They are covering costs. Exactly. This thing is a chain. The people are collect speak half from because. They know that it is one that is playing oh, nice as issue. Even the venue costs. Charge times two. Security costs. You, you feel me? So let's, let's look at this. I think that's what I said. One of them. One of them. It's 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 one Just to put your show on the billboard in Lagos. I mean, no. I can't say. Can I give an example right now? I'll give an example like this. Okay, hold on. For example, this way now. Do you know that? For the fact that, let me see for example now, flight time. Is bringing these artists together to pay. Do you know it's more expensive if that show you are attending is being organized by maybe, for example, Asha K by himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, True. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. Those brands, some of them get sponsorship and support and want to put it together. Mm -hmm. they, have a, they, have a, they have an expectation. For example, this Asha K show, that Asha K show, are you telling me that Asha K show should come at on a regular of, let's say, 5,000? Are you telling me Lagos State cannot give Asha K free billboard? No, I'm serious. Because I'm being serious now. Do you know, know? To be honest, they are forgetting the government. They are forgetting the government. This is why I'm saying that the same way we are coming out. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They might not own the most of the government. They Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no. It's costing that, that cost. That's what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. It's government government free now. in costing that cost. Do you know? That's exactly what I'm saying. I want to say Lagos they are, they are incurring that cost. One. So when they are not involved, it's, 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 it's a business to fly time. Mm. It's a business to. Yeah, 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 so whenever yeah, it becomes a like culture, like Lagos like State every year, choir state brings the finance of the artist. Well, finance of the stadium. And we have it as affordable as possible. They won't always do that. They won't always do that. Because this is business to some certain people. One of, one of the event that's, planners that's that, where we should come in. They should one of, one of the society. event planners that I know that. I mean, shout out to the blog. Mm, okay. They host the mainland blog. Mainland mainland. Mainland. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know how these guys make their profits, but they have like the cheapest tickets. Tickets. Ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. For what I mean, hold on. There was something else. Yeah. For now, yeah. Yeah. That. For now yeah, you, you, you can still that. get like an early badge for 2005. Okay, and you the artist. No, at, at, at those main blood okay. parties, how many A-list artists do you see there? We have A-list artists. It how depends. many? It depends. Okay, okay let's use Ireland blood parties. As our last day, as our last day, I was at Ireland um, blood party. Okay. I saw Boch, I saw Jibota, I saw Reminis, I saw Young John, I saw Kayode, I saw Eriga, I saw Ogbe. Okay. Okay. I saw Young John, I saw Kayode, I saw Eriga. I mean, you want to, I saw YC. You have not mentioned any artists. No, those artists are not actually. No, not yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I know, right? No, these artists are people that okay, I'll see them. I'm and do you know that? Mean, you know, you know that? Mean, you know that? Block party. You know that? Block party. 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 At True. That point, at that point, yes, yes, okay. Okay. and yeah, you gave us John John for as low as two five. We got John. Where we are trying to we don't know what we are talking about. No, so I'm telling you about. I'm not going to be honest. There's no way. You can't expect the party to give you a shake for two five. We can't. Okay. Of course. I'm not even giving you a shake for two five. The point is that these people also have. They are always selling numbers. Exactly. The party selling numbers. You know. You get selling numbers. They have schedules throughout the year. Block so party when, will have when, more crowd than flight time or whatever. You know. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to okay. so of if, course, so if, if someone is selling flight time, is, they knows what they are expecting. If flight time is selling selling for seventy k, do you know how many people you need to sell to a mainland block party before you need to get that seventy k? But do you know mainland party used to have more coverage. 
more crowd. Five no, 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 it was the one thing for too long. I think we had one of your brand came. Okay. Everyone was drinking beer for free. Yeah, beer you know, at those at, at those um, at those um at those block parties. Yeah. Do you pay attention to the brands you see there? Do you know that? For example, if you are seeing Pepsi at those Milan block parties, Pepsi might even give them three four hours. Of course, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That means that means that means the cost of those tickets. That means the cost of those tickets. That means the cost of those tickets is not really reflecting on those artists you are seeing. That comes back to the SR we are talking about. Oh, that means that it can work. That means the SR we are talking about. It is working about. for some people. That means why, it can why work. Why did Pepsi give them the video? No, you are asking the Milan. Let's make it the culture first. That every December, yes, every nobody, state nobody in Nigeria can anchor a cost. We need to be able to brought whiskey for us now. How much did you pay to watch whiskey? No, another one. I want to say, 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 I want to give this as an example. Sorry, don't let me think. As in, um, I, I cited this. I said, look at the A list artists. We keep calling A list. Um, Jay Z and Beyonce is one people I, I respect. Jay Z, most especially. I'm not. Okay, so and then I've realized that um, okay, there was Jason built a road in America, one of the roads, major roads. Mm. He actually that was his own give back, project. his own project. Give back to the project. Meaning that I'm not just saying I'm bringing it back to my zone, to my hood, I am doing this and then presenting it to the government. Even those who don't know, know go fly the road, no. you don't understand. Mm. That is another form of CSR. You know, I know you try to streamline it to just content culture and all that, but yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we have a way, we have a lot of people doing really well right now, really well. And I saw Ramal, Ramal, uh, um, Ballon d'Or stage, I was like, wow, that's my guy, that's like, that's 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 my dude. Yeah. But you know, it, it doesn't just end there, we are carrying our names out there. What is it that we're not feeling the effect? What is the effect, the effect. Exactly. What is the effect of these yeah, people yeah, yeah, out yeah, there? Yeah, and we need to feel another, it. Another person is, um, Smodo, when he does his I show, I give you yes, show every exactly. year. It goes I, there yeah, every, 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 every year. year. Every, every year. year. Every 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 do you know that saying. if you are not paying for ah. the show tickets, one way or the other, someone is paying for one thing. That's what I'm saying. Yes, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. We are here in Evadon. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yes. So, it's all about collaboration. All right, let's let's not dwell too much on that. Yes, we should have, but we do not have that time. So, talking about a closer look at the culture and influence of Ojumo the Black right now. Uh, he had in, in uh, one of his songs right now that if she no do this, mm -hmm. if she no do that, we will give her money. Talk so about it. Well, we can have but talk on now. Are you sorry? Are you sorry? I'm actually um, I'm all for I'm actually I'm always you know like uh, the radio uh, Godfather. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, the radio Godfather. <laughs> I am here, so I'm always like you know trying to be politically correct, so, right. so I don't want to say that. But you can you can say it. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 so if she not do, if she not do, yes. uh, you know, we will give her yes, money for handbag and wig and all that. You know, so um, what 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 exactly is um because a lot of ladies have actually come out mm -hmm. to say uh. -uh how would you say such now? So you mean that you have turned us to an object, but in the in in in, in the same way, mm. um, we've seen several female celebrities coming out to even say on their on their on their, yeah, on their so timeline, yeah. saying that um, if if you want if you want to make I do for you you. You yeah, shake, you shake, you yes, no. understand? Uh, okay, uh -huh. let's let's talk about Botom Bele, Botom Bele uh -huh. of Maomi. She said that that okay, if you want me to, then you you, yeah, you know be chairman for yeah, out. You you a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, but if we're talking about you know um, celebrities on social media, some of them just I I, I remembered one one of um, I think a Big Brother um, Nigeria, what do you call BBN yeah, um, yeah, contestant for uh, housemates, house, yeah. yeah. I think that was, uh, on, on I think that was doing... She was saying that uh, if if he needs your number and he cannot pay for grocery, blah blah blah, you know, like a lot of times, a lot of 
females yeah. make they themselves seem as a commodity. No, exactly. I think I I I I I I beg to differ. Okay. <laughs> I beg to differ. I'm still asking. I'm, 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 I'm asking a question actually. I beg to differ. I'm asking a question actually. I do not have an opinion. Do not, do not, do not get me wrong. I do not have an opinion. All I'm just saying, trying to say is that okay, with that song, and then ladies come out to say that. So you have turned us to commodities or what? What do you mean by that? So how can we balance this? Okay, in the real sense, this is it. Uh, for in in Odumo's defense, as rappers. Rappers are gospel preachers. They, they preach their gospel whatever way they can preach it. Okay. What he's addressing, what he's talking about, is is he, it's an occurring societal issue that is happening. It's the it is it's the reality. It is there to see. Yes, they might hate him for saying this, for pointing it out, which I think almost everyone is like that. They don't, we don't like things being said to our face, even if it's right there happening. Truth is big. Truth is big. Uh, to our savage mentioned in a particular song, you go share like budget, go mm. see. Yes. She's I talking about the investment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sharing government for a national cake. Everyone, anyone could have attacked her for saying that as well. She mm. understands, but some opinion differs. So for the most to point out that, see, just like rappers point out that what? If she knows, if you know so cool, if, if you know fuck, fuck. Oh, the one is ah, great for a big ass Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yes, the same that, line, yeah. They used, yes. they, they used to say <laughs> rappers, rap, rappers preach their reality. Yes. And that's why I love rap actually. What yeah. is happening in the real life is what he's talking, talking about. Talking about yeah. So he hasn't said anything so bizarre. But it's just like the acceptance was the problem. And those who are problem with it, were those guilty of what he's talking about. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. They were, they were the first... their lifestyles are to be <laughs> Yeah, they were the first said. to stand they up to, to it. You know, talk about it and be like, why are you referring to it? Can we mention names? Are we allowed to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, I would not like to mention <laughs> no, 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 we're not mentioning names. names over, I'm not worthy of being mentioned. You're not worthy. Mm. But I feel like if you actually feel attacked, it's because he's referring to you. Yes, now. Because there are even ladies that are vibing to the song, singing the lyrics, what's the lyrics, and it's not their life. People are dancing. Yes, that's what I was saying. There's actually no bad for this. It's true. Exactly. For that particular track, that was a nice one for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it will make it seem like he owns the song. It's not even the song. Exactly. I feel it's just because it's a poppy song. It's a poppy song. It's a movie's line. Now, when you think about it, our Afrobeat artist, the video was talking about buying a woman, a Porsche, an assurance. Buying out this thing. Even the boy, women did not attack her. God went. God went. God went. God when I said you buy seven Beckins for Jada Kingdom, nobody said anything. I think it's just because of how he said it. Said it yes. And then yeah. people are like, you came out to too. No, it was crude. It, it was, was crude. Clean. And was, but that is what rap is all about. Yes. That is what uh, some genres of music are honest. all about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rock, metal, rock, um, rap. There are some hard truths in them. Yeah. And then that's why um, I think I was watching something recently and I found out that. When these people talk, they speak their reality, yeah, true. and you can't take it away. They don't need to butter it mm -hmm. or make it be like icing on a cake yeah. and present it to yeah. you. So what is more important to them is putting it out there the way they see it and the way they vision it. There are a lot of times where Olaf Bidia is brutally honest about his lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't yeah, feel yeah, that nothing. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't feel that nothing. Why is she wearing a clinical? Why are the money just consoled? They go still collect your wife. So you know if you know if you defend okay. somebody. Well, um, as it is right now, uh, let's 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 talk about uh, the uh, the sudden accent of um, Ada Pudina accent. I mean, yeah, of Charlie Poppy, <laughs> and uh, you know uh, the reflection of um, his potential sustainability. That right? Charlie Poppy has a different kind of vibe right now from everybody, different from everybody. <clears throat> Now, that style, <laughs> that style, <laughs> can he actually sustain that style? A lot of people say, oh, I don't see him popping again in the next one year. Some people, some people even say three months, blah, blah, blah. But then, uh, the let me start from you. I mean, the same problem we had issues with um, the likes of Asha K and Shea Vibes when they came out with the same sound. Mm -hmm. And then we don't think they would pop for even a year. And they are still popping now. Yeah. I feel like when it comes to Shai Pop, he's a very creative person. Mm -hmm. So he would meet up to that standard. Mm. Yet so and also there's no rule to this whole entertainment game. Or the artist. Yeah, you feel me. So whether I sing nursery rhyme or anything, even I had um Pepeli, I mean I had it, the music analyst in me was like, oh the, this is nonsense. But at some point I'm like vibing to like Oh, this is nice. But I, personally, I feel like he meet up to it if he ups his um, creativity game. 
Yeah, creativity. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. I don't really think it needs creativity. You just need to stay to stay original. Yeah. Stay original. If it stays right. original, no. In, in it, see, it came out being original. It got acceptance. If it stays original, you know, you Nigeria, yeah, Nigerians, Nigerians rather, we are fond of something. What's that? We tell, we tell ourselves, uh, should, you, should I say we are tired of this particular sound? Um, I think it happened with uh, Mary Berry. Okay. Mary Berry is a very good artist, and then at some point, people tell you sounding alike, and I'm like. These guys, this these guys, working yes, working. but I don't know because Nigerians <laughs> just want to be mm. points that is sounding alike and then they just stop, yeah, just cancel you. Yeah, they'll just know. cancel you. A lot of things could have affected my, my, my very right now. If you look at this current thing, a lot of things are working in their favor. They are unlike before, the way the way we are very, very dependent on music stream platform these days mm. is not the same way we are. We yeah, three exactly. years ago. Yeah, yeah. For example, now some of them want to listen to music now and then they'll just go to the library, check who's talking in the chat and yeah, listen to what yeah, people yeah. are listening to. Yeah, I think, I think that not even Not even picking their own preference. Yeah. They listen to this song because you're listening to it. So, so that way, all I do is go to trending yeah, songs. Yeah, so that way, that way it stays afloat. It doesn't even need to struggle. I think, I think, actually, I think, I think, I think keeping up with the lifestyle also. Yeah. I think it keeps and then, an artist relevant. Of course. So if, if yes. Charlie Papa will so, be relevant, if if Potebu can stay, stay relevant since yeah. two years ago, <laughs> yeah. yes. So Shalibabu will stay relevant. Actually, actually, actually please okay. don't let I wanted to say, I wanted to say something. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm going to digress a bit about what we are saying. Okay. We're still on Shalibabu. The niche I think Shalibabu had, or the edge he had, is, is only one. Yeah. His language, yeah. because yeah. if if you are not going to lie, if you meet somebody from that side, from Edo Delta, just conversation. Yeah, PG the low. Like, like ah, music. Come on. Exactly. Like, it's very, very yeah. it's, pleasing it's to the ear. Just that PG. Yeah. So he has that edge. Tell me. Yeah. What you do? So, so now, yeah, for yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 he came, so he came what, from a place where no one has, has been there yet. The, 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 the first person that came out from there was like, let's say, someone like Erika. But yeah, it was because yeah. it was strictly yeah. rap. Oh, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rap. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, should I say? Yeah. What Rema? Rema. What should I say? Rema. 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 And then I think, what about Ruga? Where's Ruga from? Ruga is Ruga. 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 Ruga I love Shadi Bobby. I'm in love with him. Yeah. I don't know what it is about him. Like I said, probably it's the language, probably it's the rap, probably it's the style. I think it's the guts. Yeah. yeah, the guts. He I came from nowhere. Guts, yeah. Yeah, Somebody just woke up one day and I'm hearing inside that you're a via soap. Uh, Another uh, via uh, day inside. <laughs> Wait till they really reach that level. <laughs> you know, it's, for me that's like dynamic. Like he just came out, created his own thingy. Yeah. And then with this orange suit and with the prison, with his own story. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Some, can't, some of can't us. remove the EFCC out of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 out to anybody. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
in as much as it just stays on top of anywhere, game, yeah. basically. Yeah. So that's my own take. So on Charlie Poppy is not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Well, uh, somebody, said 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 nine somebody said nine something. Somebody said something. Somebody said something that um, Charlie Poppy, uh, Charlie Poppy style, if care is not taken, will become another genre of music, yeah. and that Charlie Poppy has actually opened the way and yeah, made the job the easier for hype men. Because listen to Charlie Poppy's track and then you just talk. Really yeah, 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 they talk and you are good. Oh, you just yeah, yeah, he's he's talking. Talking. People just said him something. Whiskey, yeah. the whiskey say, yeah, yeah, hey, 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 they will listen to it. So Charlie Poppy and maybe understand that it's possible. Because yeah. they actually just on the mic. He said it's not right. He just on the mic. And he's also getting popular and i feel like by the time we now have more young prep, yeah. more youngins doing that same particular style more i don't know we have to find a name for like afro yahoo or whatever all right well that's about uh charlie pop i mean charlie poppy anyway um now, uh, let's talk about the veracity of um, the, the claims of uh, Thames uh, saying that, okay, right now you want, to, you want me to pop at your party or your concert, it's 500k dollars. $500,000? <laughs> wow. That's, I, I, feel like, I feel like becoming Thames manager. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a paper that thing I'm that doing. You are? Oh, honestly. So, no, no. <laughs> so uh, let me start from you, Stephanie. Okay, if if it's true, then I feel like it's very ridiculous because it go back. It, sorry, it goes back to what we we're talking about before about okay. you know artists charging so much so and all of that. Really if we, I don't want to use the word we made her basically, but okay. we are Practically the platform yeah. of whatever our music career is. Basically. But what table is just charging ten thousand? Ten thousand US dollars. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. But, but terms five hundred thousand. I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not like I, 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 so I not, think. If, uh-uh. In my opinion, I'm not liking them in any way, if, but then I'm, I'm okay. See, terms, see, portable, right? 500, 400, well, 300, if, if, 200, if, if, 100, if 50. Choose to charge, mm-hmm. to charge 500k. Yeah, well, we have to look at it this way. Okay, you have to check our CV, you have to check our catalog. Mm-hmm. What she what, what pepe, she has pepe, done. Pepe. I'm Let's... about to land on what I'm okay. okay. <laughs> You see, someone used to make something funny saying that. Thames web busy, busy web Thames. Mm. We can't separate it. Mm. The limelight, the kind mm. of enjoyment busy had with that album in the US, oh. in the hip hop scene. Mm. We cannot separate Thames from that success. Mm. True. So she, so she can build on that. After that particular 500, album, five hundred thousand. So after that particular album, mm-hmm. Thames went all the way straight to the Grammy. Thames appeared on Future Futures album. On album. Yes. Yeah. Thames has rotated Europe very well. So if Thames yeah, are still on top, big not, So you're actually saying that Thames is actually right. Anybody who has Thames, Thames, I totally Thames, don't agree with this. Anybody just who missing. has Thames blueprints, similar <laughs> yeah. blueprints, would charge some people. Thames is just great. Personally, I don't think Thames is all that. Yeah, she's not all that. Have you seen? It doesn't matter how yeah. you get to the top. If you are at the top, you are at the top. Your blueprint, you can bank on it and make your money. One of the events that we've had this year, 2023, in this country, is um, should I say one of the most remarkable events? Even though it's a very sad one, we've not gotten over it um, up till now, and it's definitely going to affect the industry for a very long time. Um, it's the death of Mobad uh, that happened in uh, September. Yes, we've um, we've had a lot of suspicions. It is this person, it is that person, uh, it was, it died a natural death, it was killed, it was poisoned, uh, it was given overdose, you know, so many things have been said about uh, this particular um, issue. Uh, well, I think we need to respect always the feelings, especially the emotions, and of course the privacy of the family of uh, Mubad himself. So that's uh, why we will not be able to really, really, you know, like dig into it, but it is something we cannot do without talking about because it is one of the most remarkable events just like i said before uh, for this year in the industry so talking about uh, mobile naramali is um former boss right um that's uh, malian music and then of course um a lot of things have been said in fact it got it got to a point people were even saying okay you can't sue malian music yeah, uh, don't play any of their too, songs yeah. if you hear zinoliski drop don't listen to it if you hear Mandaramali drop, don't listen to it. all their songs, don't play it again. 
But uh, well, I, I think I want to start from uh, the DJ, uh, DJ Larry Pepe. What do you, what do you feel about um, you know the cancel culture and then um, you know the the death of mobile and the suspicions you know, around it? I don't want us to talk about people that are not in the music, uh, you know, saying yes. Well, when the whole thing first broke out, I think it was kind of personal to every music person, yeah. not even to even call up the DJ because. You know, when you get amazing videos on certain people, and then you have to, you have to settle with the fact that you be listening to the guys, this guy dropping a new song anymore. Mm -hmm. so it was very hard to settle with. And then the whole canceling part, it was this way. Most of these people that they ask us to cancel are very important to our playlist. Mm -hmm. They define certain moves in parties. But then, just for the respect and then for the trend, we have to bend to the canceling because you won't even have an audience. If you have to play those songs, they ask you to cancel. And then just because you want to satisfy your playlist or mm. to do well by yourself, you play it. The audience look at you like. So it was a very tough decision. Mm. But we have to be but I think it is fading out now. Mm. Because people are starting to listen to this music back mm. without even looking at you as a strange person when you play it now. Mm. So I think but for that particular moment, we have to just bend. Personally, I feel like Nigerians, we are seasonal people. Mm. More like Weather. So, as I then, that's the way we were feeling. That oh, we don't want to listen to. And then it's fading off, like you said. And then I'm sure um, Zeno and um, Daramali are somewhere making music, and by the time you drop it, we're going to like vibe to it like a whole lot. So, and I don't think we have cancel culture that makes sense like that. If we do, we won't, we won't listen to it. Do you know how many artists? We've tried to cancel. Even and outside of music. Now, even outside of music. We don't have a strong canceling culture in this yeah. country. We just adjust the things yeah. and then continue with our lives. It still narrows yeah. down to the politicians. Everything oh, about the story. Like saying is a domino effect we're talking about. Look at R. Kelly. You cannot find R. Kelly sh song streaming like that anymore. No, 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 no. Yeah. They take it seriously. They take it more imagine. seriously. But here we, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. move. I mean, when they, when they got out. When Nara got, got out from um, I yeah, think yeah, detention or something, yeah. he went to the yeah, went, yeah, to charity, went to the streets yeah, and started yeah, shouting. Yeah, 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 and these same people that were shouting them, it's the idea to collect the money, to collect the money, the, the rights, and the I would say so. We don't, okay. we don't, we don't really have a council culture because first of all, as much as Twitter makes it look like it's the whole country that is there. Mm. It's not the whole country that is in Chicago. It's not even, it's not even, is it up to a it it's up not to even up to 30% okay. of 200 million people that are on Nigeria so, Twitter engine. Now, when we say it's the same people, first of all, it's not the same people. As a uh, normal parlance would say, do you come out with the same people? No, I don't believe any agro in Lagos is on Twitter. Yes, they sir. don't have any business with coming to check Twitter trends. People and on Twitter, they think it works. Now, even on that Twitter, sample. your cancel culture doesn't work. And at the time, you were even saying cancel culture. There were yeah. people that were, even in the midst of the heat, there were people that were standing with Naramali. With Naramali. In the same, in the same yes, in the same country. country. Exactly. It's exactly. so very, very strong. Even when you get really Now, me, I would like to rather judge the issue from mm. what could have happened before the unfortunate incident. Mm. We heard his songs. We knew something was wrong. This. I write it to him, but he was passing through this thing. It was clear. We are hearing it. What could have been done to solve these issues? We are not done. And no. then it happened. And, um, and then what, sorry, before you come in, there, Dimola, I want to quickly ask a question that um, all those videos that um, finally came out after his death, yeah. where were those videos before he died? That is my own. Yeah. Prevention is better than cure. <laughs> why, why all this now? No, I'd like to say that I think sometime last year, um, um, this um, Naira and uh, Mubat issue yeah. came up. Yeah. And for someone like me, sometimes some people call me part of the OGs. I I was like, they don't start again. No. All these new guys in the block, we don't know what they want to do inside the music industry. They just carry themselves. And you know, there were different fights that. Sprung that period, that yeah, 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 they lot, yeah, yeah, different, artists, different artists, artists different, yeah, different yeah. groups. So, um, and at that point, it was said, but the truth of the matter was, um, Mobad wasn't as popular as he was now, or his songs were, but most people didn't know it was Mobad. It was his death that actually brought out a lot of people were like, that song, I know that song now, I like her. Now Mobad singer, ah, he don't die. 
that was what it was about in Nigeria at that point. Now, people that have that kind of mindset, you talk about counseling culture. <laughs> the point was that they didn't even really know at the beginning that the song had on a vibe too at some point. It was even this guy called Mobad or Imole. Do you understand? So it was that period a lot of people became aware. There was an awareness that was created. Yeah. And I think, um, um, like you said, you don't want to delve so much into it, but I feel that there was a lot that they could have done. Yes. Like at that point, mm. um, I could look at it from different aspects, from the health aspect, yeah. generally, you could see that this guy was going through something. something from his yeah. songs, you could see that this guy was going through something. Mm. Well, because people didn't really focus, you know, because of the, the uh, like I call it the veracity of which music is now. A lot of the love, a lot of people are springing up at the same time. Mm. A lot of people can't even follow the trend of these new blocks and the music industry right now. There are too many new Art, artists yes. popping wow. up the everywhere right like now. now. Why are you enjoying so, one person? Another person, person is coming up. So you, you, you are confused. Mm. Uh, during the time of um, them Two-Face, uh, Plantation Boys, them, uh, Remedies, Remedies, Remedies EGs, you could actually say, I know this person. You could count yes. them. You could count yeah. them. So when something was really happening with them, you could actually follow the story yeah, yeah. now there's no there's no really um follow us to anybody's story at the moment it's yeah. like one minute you're here the second minute you're off and nobody really knows what happened because yeah. somebody else is, is blocking you at that point in time yeah. and then another thing is you you you're, you're before you look left and right another you know it, it, it's, it's, yes has, has, has covered like it all up yeah. you know so i think so many things are distracting us from following these people one on one right now and then um, we keep claiming fan base What's the definition of fan base? What what are we actually defining as fan base? I like your song. Is that just being a fan base? Fan base is uh, even outside the country. You know that you follow the fan base to a T. The other this person is eating this money. If you're not careful, you know. Yes. When the person goes to bed, you know. But right now, we really are not following it. So people couldn't really actually say that we wanted to do something to help or to cry out for help. So the cry out for help they are calling out now is seeming like medicine after death. Thank you. Well, to answer Basically. my mom's question, that well, we know his name to Mubad. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm a big fan of Mubad. I used to listen to Mubad yeah. from... Um, where, um, um, from um, Belash Mother, when he was dropping... Belash Mother, when he was... These guys, the rappers... Mm. Yeah. Bad day, lighter and cool. Lighter, cool. yes. No. What I'm going to say is we cannot blame Nigerians. When you yeah. drop blessed album, yeah. blessed album is very plain. If you listen to it, you know it's depressed. It's depressed. Yeah. When yes. you went record label. Now your mother cannot tell me you did not listen to the album. Yeah. Of so we cannot blame Nigerians because Nigerians will just see it as these people are doing their craft. Mm. Me telling you, uh, Mama Fasiga, you are me, you did not stop me, you did not this. Different things. I, me, I'm a good boy. I'm a pastor to see what yeah, I yeah. And your record label manager listening to that before pushing it out to Nigerians. So we cannot now blame Nigerians for not coming out to help because we can see it as she be record label manager. Like, but they might even be playing on us. We we'll see if someone like him do come out tomorrow and say, eh, Kata if you won't read me. So we'll come inside song and say, eh, yeah, mm -hmm. they are disturbing me. AFCC fake baby. And music now, we don't know what is true. What is true? Right? 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 Exactly. Okay. 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 So, so, meaning that there's no allowance for passing of messages like Again, before. Like before. It's just that vibe to what I just told this, and then okay. someone went higher to fake his death. I was, <laughs> you know, I was not so long. Not I mean, so long. Yes, that, that was like, that, that was that was that was the guy. That was the guy. Let's do it. I think death is one of the easiest. Thing that does, that comes yeah. free to yeah. artists. Can't so be coincidence. After mobile dates, his his songs went up in numbers on stream. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he tried to play the first, same fast one. At least for the first one week, the song was number one. Okay. His album. Yeah. That if he went the album was number one. So yes. now yeah. the person faking his own death, one death was the same, sure same cheap way. When it comes to your life, I would like to look at it from the whole perspective. Yes. Now, his management and the only people have issues with. Yes. Now, I feel actually, see, all that dips. Now, you know that there's a chance that somebody goes into coma and you think that person is dead. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I won't lie. I disagree. The, if, if it was PR, don't call you change, 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 now, don't pepe, 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 calm. If it was PR, it worked for me because I listened to the album, the whole full <laughs> album, Super Hero. Now, there's a song there that talks that about, talks that. about death. Exactly. The name of the song said it's Die Young. Die Young. He just said it there. Die Young before, oh, that before, before the, the album. The, the point is, now, the point is that just this now. Even if, like, if he was actually truly dead. Yeah. Why would you as a management 
use your artist page that is his own account post it on his stories oh, that yeah. he is dead they did the same with Mubarak and then the next thing after three days we are seeing this guy no no, no. it's in rice like it is looks it? like it, it might him now he has gone on interviews and said that he actually passed through yes. a very bad place and something yeah. but that he's alive now that we you should like it. it's actually a miracle for him uh, but now <laughs> your own management <laughs> let me are they are they no, 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 i mean i mean this do you know do you know the the, the most beautiful thing about this is that mm. you are saying all this and then you are so removing so him him from no no no, 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 no i get i get like he has he also shares a place he's connecting it he's connecting why does he have to be immediately after mubad exactly why does he have to be after immediately after mubad and then you are dropping an and album he, the next day and you died the day before your album is dropping. And then come on, you are, come on. The, you know, the coincidence you know, the much. interesting thing is that his peace are the person that told us that he's alive. He's alive. That his peace that he's just trying to chase cloud. You are the, you are the cloud. Like, you are the cloud and you are the chaser at the same the, time. The thing is that the people that <laughs> are actually going through a whole lot as an artist, yeah. once they come out, people might not want to we'll take them pay, serious pay them anymore. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. of Whatever it is that you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's true. Alright, let's um move move ahead uh, right now. Uh talking about uh Fireboy's uh, absence from the top three of the new generation Afrobeat um artists. You'll be wondering, <laughs> Fireboy, what's gonna happen? Mm. Uh, because I mean I remember this particular yeah. line in his um song, Playboy. Yeah. When he says uh, when I drop it becomes an anthem, right? Mm. Um, has, has Fireboy not been dropping since? Um, so why are people not singing the anthem? No. What exactly is going on? Um, I really do not know, Stephanie. Okay, so personally, I don't know if this might not be true, but from my own perspective, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Fireboy is going through a particular phase that is really, really affecting the kind of or the quality of music that he's putting out there. Really. Because before he released that Playboy, I don't know, something about him changed in that video, basically. Could see Fireboy, you know, in the video that he dropped, smoking, doing a whole lot of things, and I'm like, this is not the Fireboy that stands. You know, know. Sweet Pass <laughs> Mango, Sweet yeah, Pass yeah, yeah, yeah. Something changed about Fireboy. I don't know what it is basically, but I feel like it's really affecting the quality of music he's putting out there. And if he doesn't address that situation, he's going to become irrelevant in the industry. Sorry, sorry, um, like, but let me let me let me hear from um Special well, black first. I'm, I'm just going to pick it up from where she stops. Okay. She's saying something has changed. I'm a, I'm a big fan of white beard. And what I believe in, record label and this music business, it has a way of, it's just like getting a player that is good and you working on that player to become something better. That is what this whole record label is. Damola Fireboy was somebody that was playing guitar. And when I listened to it first, I hated his music. It was so boring to really? me. I'm not even going to lie. It was so boring to me. It was all about love, 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 love. Okay. But let me pick him up. He worked on him. That fireboy dropped a jam with that shake that is popping really hard at that yeah. time. What yeah. I just feel is happening to him now is like I said, the record label, mm. they have their own business. The PR push he had, there's a post on it for now. They really had that same issue right there, you know. Chico Echo has that same issue right there, you know. Lighter had that same issue right there, you know. They, they said, almost all of them said that word, categorical. Even the news are that Olamide has a calendar. There's a time he tells you stop. Even if you drop, the baddest banger. It's not your time for this banger to go far. To go Relax, far. let this person go for now. It's, mm -hmm. it's just at, at the way it works. You cannot tell me this track that uh, uh, Fireball dropped to Tolambi on the is not easy. That's a very yeah, nice she baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She baby is a nice very, song. But the PR is dull. But the PR is not that exactly. PR of Olamide and mm. uh, Ashake Amapiano. Mm. It is Amapi, it is Ashake season. Let's watch what will happen next, next year. So that stage was Fireball now. It's Ashake season. Mean, so so shine. There was Fireboy and there was somebody else when Fireboy was out last year too. Can be fire boy and can be a anyway, that's that's simple, I've, I've heard it before that. Oh. Sorry, like, I'll, I'll okay. still allow you, but I just want to quickly say this. I've heard it before that um, it was because of the fact that Olamide pushed Ashake's album. That's um, the EP at that time. Yeah, the, was, was it was an EP. Okay, Mr. Money with the Vibes. Mr. Money with the Vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Fireboy's um, album, mm. like at the same time. Yeah. Push them out at the mm. same time, but that was why it affected Fireboy. That Ashaka was more accepted. I don't think. I feel. I feel like the, the two albums here. Yeah. yeah. Were nice albums and. Okay. The people that want to listen to, they listen to like both albums were accepted. That's that's going to take me back to this point that you don't need to tell me there's a calendar for. If you're not doing well at the moment, you're not doing well. 
It's just it. I think it's just it. I think it's just it. You can't, you can't, you have to do it. Let's 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 do it.
vibes that kingdom come is an album that kingdom come it's not an album it's an ep that's where it's stated that that's where it's stated that no 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 check it out you get so but what i'm just trying to say is that Recency bias is what is making people say in 2023. Doesn't mean their career their is just shaped by Nigeria. Is by Nigeria, by Nigeria no, 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 no. Yes, no. they have moved to no, far in, 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 in the question you asked. Yes. No, 2020 is not in the question we asked. Is, so the, is the Afro please, please top three? Do us a favor and read out the question. No, I said Fireboy's absence from the, the top three of the new, new generation. generation Afro new generation does not start from 20. Fireboy doesn't have to be on the top three every time. That's I don't the know thing. why it should be a problem. That's not the thing. You guys are the one that bring the problem with it. No, but no, I feel no, like no, 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 I know you like I'm not saying it's not on the top three. But I'm telling you, it's not on the top three. He has dropped from that. Really? For now. Just for now. He has dropped. It's that simple. Good for now. It's that simple. The point is that because you guys like this person so much. Because you guys like this person. Because you guys like this person so much. And then you will not see it. All right, no problem. See, I'm well, not about that. Uh, let's let's talk about let's talk about the uh, you know uh, Grammy nominations and then of course um, long time coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the best performing acts that that we know right now. Are you getting me? Yeah. All that that mm. we can see their their works mm. right now. Yes. Um. Uh, talking about um Ashake and Olamide, mm. so yeah, they got a the nomination yeah. for yeah. Grammy, and um, that's Ama Piano, right? Yeah. Ama Piano. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then um. Um, Tyler got water, right? Yeah, yeah. Wanna boy, uh, city boy, the that's um, yeah, available. and then the video unavailable, Ira Star, Rush. Yeah. So, um, somebody said something that uh, was Don Jazzy called to ask that which one would you prefer to get nomination? Is it Rema or Ira Star? And then Don Jazzy said, Rema has already blown, Rema is like a yeah. Grammy holder, already, <laughs> so let's push Ira. Maybe that was what someone said, but I don't know how, I mean. How exactly do we want to? Because let's start from, you know, Ira Star's Rush. Ira is a very beautiful girl, so energetic, so vibrant, Ira so talented. Is, yeah. like... She's a dancer, she's um, a singer. Mm. I don't know, you know, she's like, to me, like the Beyonce of Nigeria, you mm. know? Mm. So, but, um, so no disrespect to Ira Star at all, at all. Yeah. But then, choosing from the same record label, mm. how come Grammy came to Ira and not let's to Rema? Let's calm down. Now let's calm down, please. No, talking about calm down that has globe trotted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the, 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 the truth is that you know when it comes to Grammy, um, as a Bonaboy fan, because I've always been following them, the Grammy they they bank on controversy, to okay. be honest. Because an academy, they sit down, get the amount of songs submitted, pick their own, and there's still another event inside that hey, Indian yeah. committee yeah, that still definitely. say, okay, these are the ones that should be there. And they don't take votes. Like and they don't take own, votes yet. It's not so like it is where just fans just vote. Say, so now, the one thing political. do you get? The nominations are political. Although now, I feel... The, the political is being done by music experts. You of course, yeah, yes, now. Now, I feel there's no way you would... Any music discussion that involves a list will ever favor everybody. There's no. always somebody missing out. I'm missing out. Sure. Now maybe even even with... this our podcast is not favoring everyone. Do you get? It? <laughs> we, don't mention, we don't mention Kiss Daniel. Kiss Daniel yeah. too, and some people feel Kiss Daniel should actually be in the. Yes. Do you get? But now I feel that maybe perhaps that call was made. Personally, I feel calm down. But either even the remix, either the remix of the original should is be a better Afrobeat performance that nominee right. than Rush. Okay. Personally, I don't like Rush. But now only the Grammys. And say Explain why <laughs> they left <laughs> out. Uh, calm down for a day rush. Is it tight category? Get, so it's a tight category. It's a tight now there, another thing I also so, want to uh, explain is um, something Bona Boy pointed that. Yeah. Is the Grammys actually doing this because Afrobeat is the one, or is it just something to like? Okay, they are coming up. Make we shall do this one. Make we let them know. So keep yeah. this. I thing. think it's about time that uh, Afrobeat start appearing. So that is the right time. That's mature to the stage. To the stage, yeah. 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 So is it not being called world music? 
like we used to have it before. No, now it's the global music, music is outside yeah, of yeah. now the Afro beats. Afro beats. That's so exactly Afro beats now is like it's like dancehall. Yes. There's now a standard, a standard genre. genre. I want to ask a question. Do you think we still attach so much importance? You know, when it was still like global music, yeah. you know, we always try to like get it. Yeah. And now we have our own category. Yeah. Obviously, anybody can get it anytime. Anytime so now we have an Afro beat song. So do you think yeah. we still attach so much importance to it? Where we used to, yeah, I think so. Thing. I think so because that's very, that's, that's very beautiful. Mm. Question. I think so, so because that. I am trying okay. to. Um, any other person can add their own opinion, but I think because of the fact that um, we know that it is one category, mm. you know, and I need to do something, I need to drop something that's going to be different from this Afrobeat mm-hmm. that's going to give me the edge that I need to be on top of that list. Mm. So I think, yes, it will make them work harder. But I think it's going to put a lot of pressure on the Afrobeat genre artists, itself, yeah. not the artist, the genre itself. itself yeah. And then I think that is why it's now suddenly beginning to branch off and people are beginning to call theirs different Afro, things. Afro this, because Afro now that. I have to do something edgy. Before I wasn't recognized, so I was doing something to become global. Now they've given me a category. I have to do something to stay on top of that. The category is not called Afrobeat. No. South African performance. African performance. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know yeah, now, yeah, now, that 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 she, now that she said, now that she said it, I think I'm trying to like, I'm connecting something now okay when you watch you know a performance now damage you're talking about audio visual yes i think why we so watch not might have edged stage. out um, might be about down. performance might be about yes. the video visual. performance yeah. okay. now when you watch calm down the remix it's just rema yeah. and selena gomez That's yes. right. there's nothing african Mm. Yeah, they're not even performing. They're not even performing. They were just like but singing. The audio, just vibing. But the audio is good. Every audio song. But now Rush and we know that Calm Down, the original would not have um, entered into so, the so for me, this nomination be easily. Yeah. I think Tyler is going to win. Because I would say because if we are even saying that why 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 didn't they pick the African giant this is African piano was about performance. Yeah. Yes. Our piano video is the African performance. Okay. So because that's the that's the reason we can say okay that's why they didn't pick normally at the top. I don't know about that. But it's making sense. But it's making sense to me because if I watch Calm Down, even unavailable was a performance. Do you get unavailable? Yes. The dance it shows the African performance. But the Calm Down is more like. It's it not just the audio. So calm down means it's even an international sport now. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and calm down now. What about what about the performance of City Boy? Come on now, uh, that is the African man's life. Yeah. Yeah. If you get money, yeah. like this, you go flex. You stop everywhere. Yeah. When you say, uh, uh, "Come on," I get girls. I get girls yeah. from the ghetto. I get girls from the ghetto. Even the intro. Yes. The intro of that song addressed. Afro. Yeah, Afro. Yeah, so, so. Because that's how we do Yeah, we still have Yeah, everybody, everybody's African. Come on, you do, you do, you do. I heard some days ago that it's still a sample. Yes, it's a sample and I'm not saying it's a big deal. Stop yeah, I'm just trying to point. I'm, why is getting some? I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not getting some. Okay. 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 Yeah. Sorry. No. Sorry. I think. Um. Let Let us start. Let us start from. Let's Let's start from. Um. How do I put it right now? Mm. Our own imagination or yes. definition of the word creation. creation. Yes. Yeah. What we were made to believe or mm. what we were born into was that yes. God created man in dust. Right. Yes. Now yeah. from something that exists. From something that was existing. So the meaning of creativity. Creation is that you are bringing out a new you thing from, from something, something else in existence. Yes, no. So, so if Bonaboy is something, is it a problem? No, no, it's even a gift. I am only a gift. And he's so, gifted. You know, when when someone could go, go, attention, you know, go ahead. I know. No, you don't need to go high. I just did. That's, you know, that's different than your fire, baby. Because that would be easy. You said it on top of the world. What about that? What about that? They always have PTSD. Um, all right, away from that, um, we can quickly uh, talk about uh, this particular thing that um, if I should ask that question, that uh, could a habit be so more important than what you're going to make of a particular um, venture? Uh, okay, what I mean by that is um, Bonaboy being saved, I mean, being, you know, being heard that um, he rejected a $5 million um, concert because he would not be allowed to smoke in Dubai. And then you now be wondering, like, okay, the smoke. What if, what if he had to, like, maybe probably involve in a religious um, whatever, and then you had to, you know, take off the smoking for like a few hours or even maybe a whole day or even more? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you have done it? Now you're making five million dollars from that, and then you said because of that, 
because you will not be allowed to smoke, you are not going for a $5 million concert. And another thing that I believe is if you no get five million, you no go reject five million. But well, then, <laughs> so now what? What? What's? What's our? Uh, uh, what let me hear from you. Personally, I feel like that's cap. Okay. What? At the end, is that it showed us that okay, I was actually offered this amount. Okay. Because I had little baby took the shoe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if someone like that can take that shoe, obviously Nigerians we can be richer than them. Get me? But. I mean, it's cap. I won't lie to you. He, he did not reject I'm asking you for to justify why you said he made me took it. Thank you. No, 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 that's what I said. That's what I said. Do you think Lube is a bigger artist than Bonaparte? No, that's what I said. That's what I said. Why do you bring Lube into this? Because we can't reach out to him. It is possible. It is possible. For Lube to take that money. Bro, why is he lying to me? Why is he lying to you? 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 I have a question for Debola, please. Debola, if Fela was given $5 million, that's come as well. Don't answer my question. If Fela rejects it or not. If Fela is dead, he is dead. No, 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 no. No, 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 if Ella rejects it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I stand on the fact that, 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 that Debola is totally biased. First of all, yes. Yes. and number two, this is pure Nigerian shallow thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he thinks that $5 million is too much for that boy. Are you fucking kidding me? And I had to put that on note. Also, my question: If you don't get, if you don't get, you don't reject. You don't even need to go too far. Let's use their assets. But I want three exotic cars. And you're telling me, and you have got three cars. So you're telling me you're not getting five million dollars. Let's see. For what? Yeah, it's still five million. Let's see. 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 Let's but him saying something is justified. Nigeria has to say they are going to Dubai. Okay, so what you are trying to say is that the, the, the main reason for rejection is not because of the smoke. Yes, don't tell us it's because you, you, you did not allow you to smoke. All these ones, now shall I eat? Go now. Boys are loud. Yes, yes, of course. Boys are loud. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, yes. Okay, then I accept that. But the fact is that we all know Ghana is very petty. Mm -hmm. Whatever reason he gave, that they won't allow him to smoke for. Yeah, it's a very petty cool reason. Okay, okay. all right, all right. Let's let's just move ahead, please. Uh, then talking about the emergence of um, female Afrobeat um, artists, especially in this year, 2023, we have um, a, a whole lot of them already. On like before, you can just you know pick about maybe three, four, five ladies, but now we, we've got a lot of them already. So, um, what's there's there's a particular pattern when it comes to you know the feminine uh, sector of the industry. Should we relate it to um, de a body development or marriage or this home and all that that affects or that draws them back when it comes to? Because if you want to say, okay, top ten artists in Nigeria, it's possible just maybe one or two females will be there, the others will be males. So uh, what, what exactly can we can we say it's you know causing this? Uh, sometimes ago we had them, them Tiwa Savage, uh, Omaomi. Um, yeah, yeah, Yemi yeah, Alade, yeah. Waje, yeah. you know, Waje, a, yes. a lot of them there. We had, um, yeah. we have Niniola, right? Cynthia Morgan, yeah. Morgan, yeah. Morgan here, yeah. Vicky Kimani. Okay, yeah. Vicky Kimani is actually not a Nigerian, but she came here she to. Came here, yeah. uh, but then, you know, <laughs> and then she went back to Kenya. All right, uh, but then, um, right now we have, um, okay, just ask any like random children playing that. Which female artist do you know? Maybe they will just say Ira Star. Probably some of them will say Tenny. Yeah. I, even Tenny, I think, uh, is not in her best right now. Well, she's uh, you know, right, talking about it was more like a break for her. Yeah, she like like she's home. like she's on break or something. So, what, what exactly could have been, you know been causing all this? Well, personally, to me, I feel um, when it comes to women, the industry is actually a male-dominated industry. Okay, facts. But still, on still, the women that were there before. The question I always ask is this: When we say Olamide is the best in the whole industry in terms of rising up artists. Yeah. How many women put women or on, on mm. the game? Mm. How many artists did Waji put on? How many artists did Maumi mm. put on? Yeah. Most of these girls, when they want hit singles, they do collab with guys, guys. not even girls. Mm. Now, I was just hearing today now that there's a female and all-female concert 
for Lagos this December. Oh, yeah. I'm like, wow, how long would they have taken mm. to do that? You have had women, like plenty female superstars for years, mm. and this is the first time in B2023 we are having an all female concert. Which is supposed to be happening. Which is, is something that is supposed to be very recurrent because I believe that for every female artist, I'm not sure guys will be your major fans. It will surely be girls. Mm. We have lots of guys to already deal with and stream mm. for us to now come and start listening to female yeah. artists and actually be playing their music that mm. much. Mm. So I feel it's just like women. When we say women supporting women, I believe most of the time that's one of the like, biggest caps of this our generation. Okay. Because it's only online. <laughs> women hate women. <laughs> women hate women. Women are literally competitive. Do you get that? It's hostile competition. It's hostile competition. They don't want Till to now, we don't have a Tiwa Savage and Yemiya like this song. So. And they both started almost the same year. Oh, yeah. Whiskey and, the, Whiskey and Bonner has a song. Bonner and David has a song. We don't have a, a Tiwa and um, Yemiya like this song. I don't know the reason why. Mm. But I'm just, it's all these kind of things I'm just trying to even say. That. That. Even yeah. now, we don't even think, see, all of these artists, even if they are not signed to each other, you always see a smaller act with a male act behind take grooming them. Grooming them, yeah. yeah. It's always male. How are these female artists don't have anyone? They are grooming. They are grooming. The first thing is that when we, we had the likes of the bunch, the Jazzy, and, yeah. and then we had the likes of YG, Omar, 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 these people had record labels. Thank and you. And I, I don't think anything is stopping the likes them. of Omar, 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 Omar from, from yes from to have record labels. Now, now, now let me let me let me let me you are not grooming a female artist. So let's let's um as it is right now yes um this uh, definitely will be uh, like the roll up of this particular um, episode of the Z Roundtable podcast. But before we go, I would want to quickly you know like from my right to my left and then I will swing it back again. Uh, yes, uh, Debola, your top five. Uh, um, you should watch out for my boy Dre. Dre. Yeah, yeah. Dre, Dre nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dre the Balu Yeah, boy Italian oh, and then Taves. Taves. Okay. I think Taves is, is doing well. So. Okay. So and your then, five. Your top my top five. five. I have um, Gabriela Da, Kama, um, X Convict, and um, I can't remember. I remember the name. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty. Yeah. Good. That's fine. Okay, special one. I'm the remaining two. I'm not the remaining two. Okay, what about you? I'm I'm actually not a big fan of. Promising acts. Okay. To make I just, okay. just want to say, let's watch out for Ashake. I know Lambi has a lot to do with it. Oh, yeah. So, next year, let's watch out for Ashake. Okay. So, my top five Lonely at the top, great guy, on form, normal, and mm, not too sure. I think once you should go, maybe come out with me. All right. <laughs> so, what about okay, you, Stephanie? For me, I feel like the artist I look forward to seeing in 2024 is Fireboy. I want him to come back better and stronger. Oh yeah. So um You my, have a thing with Damola as well. Yes, it's my it's my it's love of my life. Crush. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. See what I was <laughs> so yeah, my top five singles. Um City Boys, not only at the top, and I enjoyed So So by Omali this year. Mm. So that's basically the top three for me. The I top have three. Oh right, that's beautiful. Oh hi, just me. <laughs> Thank God a lot of them set up three, so I can go ahead and say my top seven. <laughs> <laughs> um artists to watch out for yeah. in twenty twenty four, please be on the lookout. Good to know the format, nationally yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As that guy is going to come and blow you guys all the way. So yeah. I don't know. Let's all be on the lookout. My top, my top, um, five. top five. Okay, I'll be mentioning them. They didn't mention the top three. Um, Spiral, who's your, who's your, who's my yeah, guy? Okay. Uh, Magneto, Lamide, Canada. Um, Odomodo Black, Charlie Poppy. Cast. <laughs> um, there's also. Um, Casey or Japiano, mm, I, mm, I, I, mm. I love that song. I think no, that no, set no, the no. mood for, for yeah. the Christmas dance. I am going to dance this year. <laughs> and then um, Mobad asks about me, you know. Yeah. Well, they move me, well, they move me, and yeah. they can't get me this year, you know. That's Jay Smith, so, yeah. So, so. That's beautiful, my song. Beautiful, All right. Did you like so I, artist to look out for this year is this new guy from uh, Shane Vibes, TML. TML Vibes. I'm so looking okay. forward to what that guy will be doing next year because I know he's very, very good. He's a raw talent. And then, my top five songs for this year are uh, obviously Lonely at the Top, number one, by Asha <laughs> It's so lonely at the top. <laughs> <laughs> so followed by City Boy, Bona Boy, yeah. and followed by Kama, She Vibe. That's okay. a wonderful record. Followed by Ginger, Olamide, and lastly, number five is Kante, the video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. All right, Great. yes. So for uh, my so artists to watch out for, I actually have like three. First of all, is my boy Dre when he sheds Bazi. Yeah, then um, replay of anti-war gangsters. Yeah, that's the Moody Blacks um, label. 
Yeah, and um, also, I would say um, TML vibes too. The boy from Chai vibes. Too. Okay. And um, right there. Is everybody from Chai vibes who be bearing vibes? I just. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it so. might be. It might okay. be. Yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, that would be lovely. Yes. And then I've been out to one boy hiding me song. Then my top five songs this year. Um, MC Luomo, Udmo the Black, mm -hmm. I won't lie. Um, Bonaboy, Norma, mm -hmm. I like that one too. Um, for Shei Vibes, I would say the intro to that album, Kingdom, that Kingdom Come. Yeah, I really like that intro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, um, fourth song is Monarchy. Okay. I don't know how many people know him. Yeah, yeah, Monarchy okay. Championship. And then, fifth would be um, Pabraimu, they play. It's a song with Udmo the Black. Mm -hmm. They play. Yeah, they play. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice. But oh, please, there are two other songs I feel that we shouldn't. What are that? What are that? What are that? Yeah, Finos, do I? Do I look like a Do I look like Yeah, the remix is also coming out. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. also shall go the song Elon Musk. Elon Musk yes, yeah. yeah. El 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 and Oja Piano. Yes. Yes. I was surprised that none of you actually. What would I mention Elon Musk? Like, no, you know, the thing with Elon Musk is that, like, you hear it every year. Yeah. So why do I have to stream it? Yeah, it's not with Oja Piano too. That's why artists look out for. I'm not picking who is existing already. Yeah, exactly. TML vibe. I got it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Yes, sir, this is the uh, Zero on Table podcast coming to you courtesy of uh, Zaga Empire Entertainment. That's exactly what we do. You know, artist promotion, music promotion, A&R and everything. Plug. Entertainment, that's the best plug for you. Just visit www.zagaempire.com and then, of course, you see a lot of things. Um, you know, we blog, we do videos, we do everything. All the contents that you think you should need, yes, on entertainment, you will definitely get this. Get that, you know, on our website. And then, of course, a special thanks to Evado Wine Cafe right here. This is exactly where we are. Can you see all the rural? Yeah, we got a lot there. <laughs> so, if you're in the city of Elorin, once you're getting to Elorin, just come straight to University Road, pull up, pull Tanke up. Junction, and then pull up at Evado Wine Cafe. You'll have the best of the best of the best experience. You can see all these things that we have right here. So, we know the joke with them. Even as we are, oh yeah, I beg, let me bring. Like two shots. You know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, so we did one for the road, just yeah. like the way we're going right now. So thank you so much. And then, of course, special shout out to um, all our colleagues right there. Yes, we have uh, 26 Brown right there, of course. And then we have um, Rihado no, and he, yes, just somewhere, uh, just, you know, behind the camera. And of course, T-Pixels is always doing a very amazing and wonderful job for us all the time. Yes, definitely, I will not go without it. Thanking, especially uh, the services of um, OG Wahidi. That's what I, I choose to call him, yes, of Evado Wine Cafe. And of course, Fatima, yeah, beautiful Fatima of Evado Wine Cafe. So, a uh, special thanks to everybody. And then, of course, we have a lot of other, you know, crew members that, um, you know, too numerous to mention. But then, we are all grateful that um, this is um, a success. So, until next episode, when we come your way again, we're saying... Okay. Peace. Peace. Shout out. <laughs> All right. Peace. Let's do it. Let's do it.